Hello, my beautiful wildflowers. How are you today? Alexis here with Oat Modesty. Here we are. It's beginning of the week and it's Monday and it's Skincare Monday. And today I have a treat for you. So if you're interested, please stay tuned. <music> Okay, my beautiful wildflowers, welcome back. And today, what I wanna do with you on Skincare Monday is kinda of go over some of my, the things that I've been trying and what I've been loving so far, but I don't have enough data yet because I haven't been using it long enough to tell you exactly how I feel about it completely, but this is how I feel after one week of use, okay? And one of the products is like two weeks of use, so I kind of know how that's gonna go. Um, and I have one product that I need to talk to you about that I said I would try for you, and I've been trying it for over a month now, and I need to stop using it because um, it's not good for my skin. And um, I know there was a huge hype over that, and I'm sure you'll be really interested in knowing why I'm gonna quit giving, you know, quit using it, and so I'm gonna do that. And before we do that though, uh, let's uh, talk about this milk mask, okay? And this is what I wanna apply today. And this is a clay mask by Milk Makeup. And um, I normally don't use clay masks, and you guys know that because I have very dry skin. And the reason why I wanna try this one is because of its claims. And you know how I like to take the claims and put it to the test and see if they're accurate, at least for me, or are they not? And so the claim it makes is that it's a glow and a flash solid clay mask stick brightens hydrates and even skin tone for a luminous complexion and it's made for all all skin types but you know I have dry skin type my skin is not like overly overly dry like I know people that I actually flake and they really have to constantly moisturize and they have to get special moisturizers to really get in there. I'm not that type. I'm more of the basic dry type uh, where, you know, with age, I mean, I had normal skin tone probably the most of my life with a little bit of T-zone um, oiliness. Um, but other than that, my skin's been pretty normal. And then with the aging process, you know, you lose that uh, moisture, right? And so because you lose the moisture barrier. So, um, it, my skin's been dry, unfortunately. For the, I'm going to say for the really solidly dry for the last three years, maybe. And so, yeah. And also, you have to remember when you go through changes in life and you lose your estrogen and all those, you know, great enzymes uh, or hormones, I should say, that are in your body that aid you and being a little more flexible, being a little bit more moist, you know, it disappears with time. So um, I really have to be careful what kind of um, like masks I use. And usually I love the uh, replenishing masks. Those are great. I, I love the... Uh, the lubricating and um, moisturizing masks, I love that. But clay masks, I've been staying away from, and I've not yet really found a clay mask, with the exception of one, um, that won't leave my skin overly dry. And that one is the, I think I've told you guys about it, and um, I need to actually bring that aboard because um, I've been using it, but I can't use it too much because it too can dry my skin. And that is the Charlotte Tilbury, the uh, goddess clay mask, but that has emollients in it and it's not just straight up clay. So it's it's a little bit different, um, but I don't use it as often because of the uh, fragrances in it. And so as far as the milk makeup, let's just go ahead and put it on. Let me see what the direction says as far as how to apply it. And I think it's basically all the same, but let's read because we should always read instructions, okay? Even if we think we know what we're doing. <laughs> Okay, so it's directions. Apply mask evenly to damp or dry skin. Let sit for five to ten minutes and rinse. Okay. Oh, rinse with warm water. Sorry about that. Yeah, so let's see. All right, then um, I need to make sure I set my clock, but let's open it up. Here it is. And I think this is like some kind of a, is it watermelon? No, it just, because I know they had the watermelon green tea and all that stuff, right? Uh, this one doesn't say watermelon, but I thought that's what it advertises as. Oh, it does. Watermelon brightening face mask. It's on the back. So let me show you. Okay. Watermelon. Can you, is it in focus? Okay. And so it comes like this and I think, yeah, this is like, um, you know, roll on and you know, it comes with this protective plastic and 
just a hint because I learned this and this is probably basic to you guys and you're probably gonna go, duh, Alexis, we knew that. But just in case you didn't, I used to struggle to take the stupid thing off, right? The plastic, you know, I struggle with containers, boxes mostly, but sometimes these type of containers, especially now with my nails. But I learned back when, because they deodorants come like this, is that if you kind of like twist up, look, it pops right up. It pops right up and all you have to do is ta-da. Who knew? I didn't. And so <laughs> I had to discover that the hard way. So yeah. So let's go ahead and apply this. And I'm going to go ahead and push this up because I don't want my little Hello Kitty to get. Okay. Oh, okay. It does go on. I was kind of wondering how is it going to go on dry? But you know what? This is already moist in here. That's a lot of moisture in a stick. This doesn't feel like clay, you guys. This feels, what does it feel like? Yeah, this is really um, moist. God, there's a lot of water in there. How did it keep it sol solid? Hmm. Okay, I'm going to make sure I go into my nose area here where you tend to miss, even with sunscreen. And so I'm going to go under the eyes, but not too close. Under the eyes, but not too close. I'll go ahead and go to my brows. Okay, and come down the bridge of my big nose. Okay. Okay, make sure I get this part. These are parts that I miss. I'm glad it's kind of like pink. Can you see? <laughs> I look like the Oompa Loompa. <laughs> you know what that is, right? Uh, Charlie um, Charlie and a Chocolate Factory. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Willy Wonka. Oompa Loompa. Baby doo doo. Something like that. I don't remember. But anyway, here we go. I do look like a Oompa Loompa, guys. Look at this. This is so funny. Okay. I can't get into that part. You notice that how deep that part is? I just now noticed that. That's hard to get into. I gotta make sure I pay attention to it when I put creams. Huh, it's like a will there. Okay, it's good enough. Anyhow, here we go. Ooh, I damaged the top of it. Hello. And I'm just gonna go ahead and, you know, screw the thing down. I'm gonna put this back up because this is, I always keep these things. I don't know, I might keep it airproof. So we're gonna go ahead and put this in. Excuse me. Phone. Okay, timer, let me see, here we go. Let's do 10 minutes because I need to talk through this stuff and I don't wanna run out of time. Oh, it's already set for 10 minutes. My math time, start. Okay, we got the countdown going, so let's start talking about what I'm loving and what I'm giving up. And I'm gonna save the what I'm giving up for later um, to the end. But one of the things that I recently purchased, and it's been about a week that I've been using this, and you know how I love, love, love my Polish Choice Hydrating SPF 50, and I swear by it, that is the gold standard. Well, it still is. <laughs> but I want to tell you something that I discovered that is just as good. The only thing that makes Polish Choice better because this one has the same texture, it acts the same way, and it doesn't pill like a lot of the other rum sunscreens or all of the other sunscreens I've ever tried. Um, but what makes Polish Choice better is it's got SPF 50 and this one is SPF 30. So, but if you, you know, for indoors, I'm thinking this is good. SPF 30 could work for me and then save my SPF 50 Polish Choice for, you know, when I go outside. And this is, this one here, CeraVe. And you know I use the CeraVe AM, the really thick one, but this one is special, why? Because this one here is ultra light moisturizing lotion with SPF 30. And so this is made for normal to oily skin. See, so that's the key. Even I have very dry skin, I already use moisturizer, so I don't need additional moisturizing sunscreen, which tend to have um, ingredients in it, which are, you know, moisturizers and emollients that pill. And so I noticed that when I use anything ultra light or light that's made for normal to oily skin, it doesn't pill. I think that's the key there. I'm gonna continue to test my theory. And when I find another brand that has the same ultra light formula, I'm gonna give that a try and see if that's the case. Again, this is a chemical sunscreen, so it does not give you a white cast. And I know for a lot of um, a lot of the people who have um, you know darker skin tone than me even, um, you know, which is a tan, uh, they have problems with mineral sunscreens because it does leave a totally white cast and it could look like a mask, right? And so, but this does not. And like I said, this is ultra light moisturizing lotion. Let me see if I can get that in focus for you guys. And this is, I bought this one at Ulta. And when I saw it, I was like, huh, 
let me give that a try because I actually ordered something else of CeraVe that I normally use, which is the overnight cream. And if you buy one product from CeraVe, you get the other product for 50% off. So guys, please look for those type of deals. You can even go into CeraVe site and they have such deals too. So I got that from the 21 Days of Beauty at Ulta. And so, yeah, and uh, check it out. And uh, this... Actually, I've been using it for a week instead of the Polish Choice, except for on Saturday when I knew that uh, we were going to go out and do our California Dreaming series, uh, the shoot an episode there. I have to use SPF 50 and I took other SPF and throughout the day I was putting the stick SPF, powder bit SPF on there because it is really hot out there and I want to make sure I'm protected. And so, yeah, been loving this, especially for the indoors. Um, and I will give you an update on it when it's empty because you know me, I do the empties and I'll tell you for sure I've been using it for 30 plus days and I love it or I hate it or I change my mind. And so for now, one week's worth of use, it's great. And the reason why I want to tell you about this is because it's affordable. Even sunscreen is extremely expensive, right? But this is affordable. And so give, give it a try. Okay, it's a good one. Please don't do without, don't go without sunscreen. Okay, and the next one I that I've been using, and this is called Prepare, and it's by Yoon Beauty. I think we talked about this a couple of weekends ago, um, and I said I was going to start using this. And the reason why I'm showing you this, this is a green tea toner. This is the toner that you use after you wash your face. Why am I pointing this out above the... Uh, cleanser and above the vitamin uh, C and E is because I already know how this one's acting. You don't need 30 days in order for it to know how a toner is going to act with you. And this toner actually does not, I was surprised, I uh, did not leave my skin dry like a lot of toners do. Right now, I only have one toner that is my gold standard and go to, which is again, it's a hydrating ser uh, serum form of toner by Polish Choice. But this gives me an alternative. And I really do like it. The only negative only con about this one is it isn't a pump and it is liquid okay and so especially for somebody like me who actually puts the toner in the hand and pats it this is not you know this is not the best way to do it okay but that's okay because actually I'd rather have a pump because it doesn't allow the air to go in it doesn't expose it to air but if, if you're using it with a cotton ball, it's perfect. You just, you know, pump a little bit and then use it. And I did that instead one day and it, it works just as good, but I just feel like I'm wasting it when you put it onto a cotton ball. So, but this one does not leave my skin dry like it normally other toners have. This is nice and fragrance free. And when you hear green tea and you expect to smell green tea, this smells like nothing. It's just like absence of um, fragrance, which I love. And this is why... I really wanted to try Yoon Beauty because it is fragrance-free, dye-free, and he also um, is a huge proponent of clean beauty. And I don't know if you know this piece, but in the European Union, they have outlawed over a thousand, thousand chemicals in their beauty products and any kind of, you know, facial body products, 1,000. And I believe in the United States so far, they have um, outlawed 115. This number changes all the time, but it's not any more than 200, I can tell you that. It's way under 200. I think it's 115 or maybe 150. But versus over 1,000 in a European, um, you know, and the European Union. So, and Dr. Yoon actually uses the standards of the European Union and will not put in those type of chemicals like pegs, okay, and things like that. So, it's very good. His um, products are very good. A little bit pricey, uh, but I think with the research he's putting into it and the work he's putting into it, he probably, it does actually makes sense why he's charging what he's charging because he doesn't do a whole lot of huge marketing he ho you know he works on you see it on his youtube channel and you also see word of mouth and like what i'm doing here so this is actually very good the reason why i'm not pointing out these uh the actual cleanser which is a mate to this one and it is also green tea is because it's a little bit drying it is a little bit drying for my skin but I can use it when I'm double cleansing. So when I have a lot of petroleum products, I wipe it off. I feel that barrier still. And so uh, what I do is I use um, his um, uh, cleanser and it's fine. But if I'm just using a cleanser, like in the morning I wake up, I need to cleanse um, my overnight mask off. I can't use that because it will be a little bit too dry for me. But t after taking off my makeup, they, you know, using a double cleanse, the second step, I can definitely use it. No problem. Love it. Again, 
fragrance free. And a lot of people I have said, well, I love to smell the green tea. Well, green tea doesn't smell like anything, guys. Not if it's, I mean, the extract should not smell like anything. When you smell green tea, that's artificial fragrance that the company's putting in there. So you should not smell anything. Like here, this one here, watermelon, smells nothing like watermelon. It's an absence of smell. It doesn't smell like anything. It's fragrance free, but it has the essence of those uh, benefits in it without having the fragrance, okay? Same thing with Yoon Beauty. Um, like I said, I'm loving it so far, the toner, and it's been uh, a little over a week that I've been using it. So now yeah, let's see if I continue to like it at the end of it when I do my empties. Okay, and that's that piece of it. And the next one, what I've been loving, I think I've only talked about this a couple of times because this is quite strong. And um, I don't encourage a lot of people unless you already have kind of like a, you know, a pretty good uh, skincare routine using, using vitamin C's on a regular basis because for somebody who's never used vitamin C's before, this could be quite strong. And this is the Ordinary Vitamin C. And actually, this is probably one of the best vitamin C I have ever used. It's powder and a squalene. And so you feel it gritty. So when it goes on, it's kind of like a gritty feeling. And then what I do is I put sunscreen over it right away. It takes away the grittiness. It's almost like grittiness that vitamin C is absorbed immediately into my skin. And I really like it because it works. It brightens my skin. It really does. And no matter how much sunscreen I put on, if I'm not wearing a hat, which is kind of difficult for me for obvious reasons, um, and when I go outside, I still get a little bit of the sun. I still, I know my husband doesn't notice it, but I'm like, look, 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 I got darker. He's like, okay. I'm like, no, I can see. I can see my little freckle there got darker. That's my little temperature um, probe there. It's like, you know, th this tells me, that little dot right there tells me if I got darker. And so anyway, and so the next day, having said all that, the next day I put this on right away and I can tell when it burns more than usual, I got sun from the day before because that's why it's burning. But it brightens my skin up again. Um, you know, not back to how it, you know, perfectly white, you know, like uh, bright, not white, but bright. But in a couple of days, it's back to normal. So this one has vitamin C and a suspension of 23%, and it's in hyaluronic acid spheres of 2%. And so um, this is actually 23% of vitamin C is quite a lot. Like I said, you need to get used to it, uh, especially if you never use vitamin C. You need to kind of go tip it a little at a time. And you may need to mix it with your moisturizer to begin with, because it, if it starts to burn, it's supposed to tingle. It really is. It's not supposed to be like, oh my God, get it off me. But it's a supposed to tingle and it may be a little bit uncomfortable okay whoops let me stop that real quick wow 10 minutes went by really fast but that's okay because this is a mask and I'm not gonna really stress over it. it's not a peel if it was a peel you see me like Phew, I would be bit right back but this is you know clay so I, I think I'll be okay but I want to finish this off so anyway if you are interested in something that works very well but it is a little comfortable in the beginning but you need to really monitor please 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 do a patch test and even the patch test may be a little bit burning but do it in an inconspicuous place like behind your ears or wherever that you do underneath your arms so wherever it is sensitive that you don't typically use any chemicals on that's your ideal place where it's hidden in case you do get a burn you don't want to be you know visible and so do that test and if it if you can handle it this is one of the best and I mean I'm gonna swear by that but right now I'm actually using the Yoon Beauty as well and uh, like I said I'm only using this if I need like extra push but I'm using the Yoon Beauty but I didn't bring this bring that here today because I think for vitamin C and E which is that your own beauty one I need to I need more time two weeks or a week is not enough for me to say it's great or it's terrible so I don't want to talk about it yet because I don't know okay but I will definitely bring it and let you know about it okay and one more piece of something I am loving that I've tried I'm trying and again I discovered this from um, the 21 days of beauty and I do use this product for my neck normally and it works 100% of the time uh, it's a different formulation but the company is Strivectin I don't know if you ever heard of them their stuff is so good very expensive though I really this bottle here is um, normally a hundred and thirty something dollars but it was 50 percent and 60 something I said I'm gonna give it a try just to see if it works because I have never used this particular one and what this is and let me tell you let me read to you okay it's anti-wrinkle SD advanced plus intensive moisturizing concentrate for wrinkles and stretch marks with 
College XCE Complex. It's an intensive moisturizer which targets 10 types of collagen to visibly improve wrinkles and stretch marks. So they don't say the appearance of wrinkles or appearance of stretch mark. They're claiming that it actually targets the wrinkles. And I'm gonna tell you something. They make the same claim for the neck and the chest decollete area. And they make the same claim. And actually it works. Actually, it really works. And you have seen me talk about it. And I go through it every so often. It's in one of my uh, faves and fails videos. And you'll see it again because I'm about to run out of the other one. I'm about to finish using it. And it's for the neck one. And Strive Victin is very, it's more like a cosmeceutical company. It's not a straight up cosmetic company. They do a lot of research and there's a lot of um, information, a lot of testing experimentation behind their research. And on the back of the box, it says, you know, before and after four weeks, before and after four weeks. I don't know if you can see this picture. I'm hoping you can. Um, especially on this dark skin, you can see where they're saying before. You see how deep the wrinkle is and this is after. I don't, uh, to be honest with you guys, I don't like this photo only because you can see that this woman is making a different facial expression by the way her eyes, see her eyes are. And so I'm like, okay, this one here, I think she is really accentuating her wrinkle by moving her forehead in a certain way. And this one, not so much, but could it be that it's just the way that the picture was taken that still works? Yeah, that could be, but that makes me a little bit skeptical, especially when, when they don't show the whole face, right? And so that's why I wanted to give it a try and see if it works. I will tell you, and stretch marks and wrinkles, stretch marks are something that's, you know, it's tricky. A lot of times you need a surgical procedure to get rid of stretch marks. So, uh, you know, I mean, you can lessen it, but you're not ever going to make it go away, just like wrinkles. But I want to go ahead and try it. And I have been using it for about a week. I can't tell you um, if it's working as far as my wrinkles go yet, but I can tell you it's a good moisturizer. That part is true. But do you want to pay a hundred and something dollars for a moisturizer? I don't think so. But right now I'm liking, I'm liking this. And so, and you know, I'm a little bit biased towards Strivectin because I've used their products and I know it works and I understand the research behind it. And they're a good company, uh, but they are very pricey, I think. Um, I mean, could it be cheaper? I don't know. I don't know because they don't do, they're, they don't do a whole lot of marketing. Like you don't see them on social media and things like that. And they go by word of mouth and they used to, uh, the, uh, what do they call NIA, right? Yeah, NIA 114 technology. And so that's nanotechnology. And um, it's how, how they um, make the products using certain molecular, you know, shapes. And I'm making a very layman for you guys, okay? That allows your skin to really pull in the um, particles that it needs in order, the molecules it needs to start working. So nanotechnology to make it tiny, tiny, make it absorbable. It's not as simple as that, guys, but I'm making it kind of like layman so you guys understand that it is absorbed and it is being used in a, you know places that it needs to be used. And that's the technology they use. Again, like I said, companies that do a lot of, uh, you know, R&D, research and development, tend to be more expensive because R&D is one of the highest costs in any company. Um, so yeah, liking it. I'll give you more report in the future. Okay, that's that. Sorry about that. I didn't mean this video to go that long. I wanted to be like 10 minutes and done and I need to go wash this off and let you know how this feels. But it doesn't feel tight by the way, guys. You know, it does, it's not like, you see that? It's not like a mask. If I go like this and you know, you go like this and it stays like that. It's not like that. So this may be some good stuff. Hmm. Yeah. I'll let you in a minute, but let me tell you one thing that I'm going to quit using and Mia Koopa, I'm sorry. I said, I'm going to use it for, you know, for 30 days. I think I did. I'm a little shy 30 days, but I can't use it anymore. Um, it's this. Okay. What is it? Yeah. It's Charlotte Tilbury, the magic cream. The magic cream is not magic guys. I'm sorry. I tried. Um, and let me tell you, uh, you know, I'll show you that I did use, I'm not going to throw it away, but, um, you see how I've like been really careful and I've been digging it up really nice with a little spatula and it's, I, I mean, almost half of it is gone. My, I'll say one third of it is gone and you know, it's very moisturizing. I'm not going to lie. It is very moisturizing, but you know what? The fragrance, they ruined this with fragrance because it could have been potentially a really good product. And, but I noticed that sometimes when you use uh, like Retin-A or any kind of uh, that type of um, uh, anti-wrinkle collagen building, any kind of um, uh, chemicals like that, 
fragrance can really stop that action. And depending on what it is, it can really conflict. And so all that retin-A you're putting on your face, all that, you know, Defran you've been putting on your face and you follow it up with the moisturizer with um, fragrance, it could actually undo what you're trying to do. I mean, depending on what it is, uh, it's not in every case, but if you watch Dr. Dre, she actually talks about it. It was very interesting because I watched it after I started doing this. And then at the end, I'm like, you know, I really don't like it. Let me see what else is out there about it. There's anybody that's opposed to it because everybody, all, you know, majority of at least all of the um, YouTubers and influencers I've seen really tout, I mean, great things. And I'm thinking, am I, am I doing this wrong? So I started doing research on it. I found Dr. Dre actually did a review on this and she said the same exact thing I'm telling you I mean the, the fact that it's garbage it's pretty much what she tells you and not so many words and it's way overpriced for what it is and a fragrance ruins it and another thing she pointed out that you know I noticed it after I looked on the box after she mentioned it titanium oxide it has products that's used for sunscreen but they don't claim anything about sunscreen why not why like she said what what are they using that what well, what are they using those uh, ingredients for because she doesn't get it and she's a great dermatologist and I'm like if she doesn't get it I'm not gonna get it so but all I know is it did irritate my skin and um in a way that like I'll wake up in the morning I noticed that I would have red right along here my nose and when my skin gets irritated that's the first place it's gonna tell on me is that right here you know right along the line here and this is where it starts to turn red. And I noticed I started looking really close in my magnifying mirror in the morning. I'm like, what the heck is that? And I would move my nose and what is that? And then so I noticed that and I kept watching it. And then I stopped using it. And then I went back to just using my CeraVe, the night uh, relief cream, and it went away. And I said, okay, maybe, maybe I just I was having a really bad skin week. And so I tried it again. Same thing happened. It actually... And you know what? The only thing I can think of that is like, because fragrance are vasodilators. It dilates your vessels. So it must have, you know, dilated my vessels around the nose, which is very sensitive. And this is where it turns red on me. And it showed that red in the, the blood vessels because it's dilated. And so, yeah, guys, yeah, fail. Huge, huge fail. And this is expensive. It's $100. So you know what, though? I'm not going to throw it away. I'm going to use it on my legs. Um, like below the knees like after I shave or something and you know let it um, I'm not gonna put it right away because it'll probably burn after right after I shave because this has got um uh what do you call it a fragrance right so I'll probably wait uh, you know a day or so and then use it so because I don't want to throw it away but this is not going on my face again guys you know I tried I tried to use the whole thing I said I would but and not good for me so I hope you understand and so yeah yeah, that's that. So anyhow, let me just go get this off and I'll be right back. Okay, my beautiful wildflowers, I'm back and I did wash that off and you know what? <sighs> very good. <laughs> that's what I have to say. This stuff is very good. I don't feel the tightness in my skin. It is actually feels moisturized and it's not dry and this is actually even better than the... um. Charlotte Tilbury goddess, um, yeah, the mask. This left my skin really soft. And usually my test is I'm going to go ahead and take it off and then I'm going to dry it. And then I'm going to sit there for a second and all of a sudden I start feeling that pulling, dry pulling, you know, like start to pull, like my skin is so dry and it's about to do this, right? <laughs> and so I did not get this at all. And it does say glow in a flash, solid clay mask stick brightens, hydrates, and even skin tone for luminous complexion. As far as, um, I don't know, the lighten part is hard for me to determine because, um, yeah, I mean, I don't know. Do, do I look brighter to you? It's like, doo. <laughs> I don't know. But um, it definitely, I can tell you from the um, you know, feeling point of it, it's actually very nice, you know? I don't know why I haven't used this. I think it's because I was afraid that this would really dry my skin. I've had this for a while. It came in my box, I'm going to say three, four months ago. And I kept, it kept sitting on my counter. And I said, you know what? I need to try something different that I don't normally do and show uh, my beautiful wildflowers. And I'm glad I did because you know what? I'm going to use that. <laughs> and I think um, next time I see this in an add-on, I'm going to go ahead and buy it because um, I didn't know it. Yeah. 
Yeah, I like it. You know, that makes me want to try the green tea cleanser bar from Milk Cosmetics because, I mean, it's fragrance-free, and it, this is actually very good. So, yeah, try it if you have dry skin, and let me know if you do try it or if you've tried it, let me know what you think of it, okay? And so, my beautiful wildflowers, I think that's it for today. And by the way, I don't know if you noticed, this is my favorite friend's uh, sweatshirt is my favorite sweatshirt especially um i know you guys probably see me wear it so many times i know when you see something different like my hoodie that uh, more than two people said i love your hoodie well i've had that in my closet i don't i don't wear it because i have my comfy clothes and when i'm at home i just like to like lounge around in comfy clothes like this sweatshirt and this thing is probably so old and i need to kind of retire but no way because this is my comfy shirt <laughs> So, yeah, and I'm sorry I'm, I'm not a little more glamorous doing this stuff, but yeah, I, I just like being comfortable. So, anyhow, my beautiful wildflowers, if I added any value today, please hit like. And if you haven't subscribed yet and this is your first time watching or second or the third, but yet not subscribed, please consider subscribing and ring that bell so that way you know every time I'll upload a new video. And so, if you have any comments or if you have any questions, don't forget to put them below as well, okay? All right, my beautiful wildflowers, I hope you have a good day. I hope you have a good night. I hope you have a good week if you're watching this on a Monday. Or have a good weekend whenever you're watching this. But just remember, never sweat the small stuff. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye. <laughs>